This year, the most, the thing I'm looking really, really most to doing is go to nationals. Really, I really want to go to nationals. Ever since I was like four, and you can ask my mother about this, I've been talking about being a cheerleader in high school. That's the only thing I wanted to do. I love flipping in the air. Like when we do stunts where they throw us up, like that's like my favorite part. When I first started, I wasn't very good at cheer because it was my first time. Like the coaches told me everything, like how to bet, how to dance, how to do cheers, at football games, everything. But now it's like, I know everything and now I'm the person that helps others. Yeah. Now that we're going to nationals, it's like I mean, a lot of work we have to put in, like a lot of time, a lot of work. We have to be patient. Our grades have to be up there. It's like everything has to be perfect for us to be able to go to nationals. Hey. I'm a captain of the football team. I play right tackle and defensive end. But um, this is this is like my first and last season doing cheer. I love football and basketball, but this is like something new, and I, and I guess I'm telling you something new I haven't done before. That's why I'm so excited to do it now. They just were recruiting me, telling me to come, and I came from practice, and I, I loved it. He's really strong, so I feel like I we really need those football boys on our team because they can really help us in like extreme stuff that we're going to do at nationals. It's like when you're a flyer and your bases are holding you up, your life is in their hands. Because if you fall and something bad happens to yourself, it's like over. Oh, it's like, don't drop her, don't drop her, don't drop her. Like, there's a lot of technicalities that go into cheerleading that I, that I never knew. Like, again, having her foot come around my head and trying to catch it with the other hand, I, had, I was struggling with that. You have, to, you have to really be good. You have to really be locked in and focused and want to do cheer. I play football, so it's like I had to score a touchdown, you know? It just gives me like a hype, hyperness, like when I get up there, like even like just with the energy, like just going up into a prep, it just like, it's just like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like a weird feeling where I, like I'm so happy. Our kids encourage each other. They support each other. They are... I don't know, and we said this yesterday, I said, welcome to your new group of 20 best friends, because that's what they're going to be. You really gotta catch her. No one lets her go, not even a finger touches They're her going to I'm so serious. make memories and have an experience of a lifetime, and they're never gonna forget this. They're the first team. They're the first team in the Philadelphia School District and the Philadelphia Public League to ever go to nationals. And that's, it's unforgettable. I feel really happy that I'm on a team that really succeeded because before, when we made it, they made it to states before. Um, they said that they were like always like ranked at the lower point, like the 14th place and all that stuff. And then last year, my first year of cheerleading, we went up to semifinals, which is basically competing for the last spot of finals. And the videos that we took of us like recording before they called us on, it was just so like wild. It was so, everybody was crying. It was just so emotional. In the co division, let's hear for George We earned it, like we really did earn semifinals. Nationals came to us and they were like, why don't you compete in nationals? And our coaches signed us up. So far, what I know is we're definitely traveling on a plane to Dallas, Texas. We have to raise $30,000. And a lot of that, like $30,000 is going to, towards hotel, towards our food, towards the plane, our uniform, everything is all Washington represent the city of Philadelphia um, at in Dallas, Texas. Since I've been here, like, like, I would have never thought we would have traveled somewhere with our team. Like, we traveled to Hershey, but that's on a bus. Like, this is on a plane. This is going somewhere bigger, like, competing with all these other teams. Like, no Philly public school has done this. We're the first one, so that's very exciting. Overall, we feel kind of like underdogs because it's like we don't have the money. Most of these teams already have their money, already have their planes booked, their hotels booked, and we're doing it little by little. 
We have to fundraise like every single penny that we're going to be using towards this. And it, in a sense, people have gotten discouraged, but our coaches are like, we're doing it. Like, look how far we've gotten in just like a month. And then everybody's now just getting that motivation that we're going to do it even though we're a public school. Tira for three, tira for three. One, two, three, tira. It's a very big deal. Um, and I mean, all the hard work we're putting in, you deserve it.